I am waiting in the private room, visitation room. It's really nice. I have a potty pad for her. They make you change your shoes into indoor slippers before you come upstairs. There's an elevator. Very Japanese. Who it is? It's you two. She ate her food this morning. She went to the bathroom. She walked around a little bit. You see me. <laughs> She loves the nurses here. She wags her tail every time she sees one of the nurses. Yes, I am. An incision in her neck right there. And then they put her a, a gauze shirt so that she won't scratch. So I haven't had a chance to look at the scar yet. But it's probably bruised up. Oh. <laughs> You do. So, you want to walk around? <laughs> to get permission every time I want to give her something, so I got freeze dried chicken hearts all cut up. She's already <laughs> eyeing them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, she can't wait. <laughs> All done. <laughs> and there's no more, you do. I know, it's so good, huh? I know. She has more energy than yesterday. This is four days post off. Yeah. She hasn't eaten today yet. It's, yeah, they usually feed her at lunch and then once at dinner, nighttime. So she's really hungry. The nurse brought empty containers that had her food in and she thought she was getting her food. So she didn't even say hi to me and she was just looking at the empty containers thinking she was gonna be fed. Oh no, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way, don't go that way. Yubi. You want a fish? So I just finished talking to one of the doctors and her numbers are looking really good actually. This is her red blood cell, this is her white, this is her hemoglobin, and this was one day post-op, no actually, yeah, this was one day post-op, two, three, four, we're on day four post-op, and it has gone up, it has increased and yeah it's everything is looking pretty good and yeah that's supposed to come down it is coming down um and yeah she said these three i'm not sure what it is also oh, this is her ast alt and i'm not sure what that is but she said it's a little bit concerning but not alarming yet so we're gonna watch those numbers and then this is the inflammation 
So it has come down about half, she said. So which is a really good sign. And this is actually, um, Yuzu is actually recovering faster than average. So, um, so the doctor said she might be able to come home with me tomorrow, depending on her labs tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. And so, usually they'll stay in the hospital for seven days, but she might be able to come home with me early. She's doing so well. And then she has no signs of blood clots, um, which is a huge concern with Cavaliers because of their large platelet size. Uh, after her labs at 8 a.m., they're going to call me to see if she's ready to go home in that way. I'll be able to bring my stroller with me before I leave the house. And then I'll be able to um, talk to the doctor once again tomorrow when I pick her up. <laughs> Mommy's happy. Had to brush her hair, it's all matted. So, you're all pretty now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how your scar looks. Oh, wow. Yep, that's her scar. Oh, but I don't see much bruising, Yuzi. Looking good. Yuzi, there's nothing in there. Those are empty containers. <laughs> All she can think about is food. My goodness, Yuzu. Oh my gosh. There's nothing in there. Look, they're empty. They're empty. <laughs> Time for some cuddles. Oh, Yuzu.